Hi there, this is Mark P. Summers from Information Street. So, the last video showed you how to install WooCommerce, so this video presumes you've already installed WooCommerce, and we're now going to show you how to install the WooCommerce for Infusionsoft plugin. The plugin is not only a payment gateway, but also helps you with the uh, affiliate links and importing products, etc. So, lots of full uh, uh, fun tools there. So, we're going to go back to plugins and add new. But instead of searching for the plugin this time, we're going to click on Upload. And then you would have downloaded the plugin, the latest version of the plugin, from the email once you've purchased the WooCommerce for Infusionsoft plugin. So we're going to click on Browse. We're going to go over to my Downloads directory. And that is where that uh, plugin is sitting. We click on Open. Then we click on Install Now. And it will upload that uh, plugin to your WordPress uh, install and then install it for you. You may again get asked for your FTP details which you put in the host name, the username and the password into those boxes and click on install. You then activate that plugin and once activated you will then see under WooCommerce there is now a settings area for in payment gateways for Infusionsoft. In here you will notice that you need to enable uh, the plugin. If you don't enable it, it won't work. Leave test mode switched off unless you uh, really want to uh, um, go through and test, uh, test everything. And then finally, you would then type in the application name. That's the bit before the infusionsoft.com. So whatever is before infusionsoft.com is your application name that goes in there. And then your API key goes in here. Now your API key is going to be a whole set of strings um, looking a little bit like, uh, like that. Let me show you where you find your application key just quickly. What you're going to do is you're going to head over into uh, your application and uh, you'll log in. And once you're logged in, you'll then go to the navigation icon and then settings under admin. From there, you'll click on Application, underneath Application Settings. And then at the bottom of this screen, you'll see a long uh, key, which is your encrypted key. You'll copy that and paste that into the, application, uh, the Infusionsoft API key box. The next thing you'll need to find is your Merchant ID. So, back from your dashboard, you would go into the navigation icon and under e-commerce, you'll go to settings. Once you're in there, click on merchant accounts. And then you need to hover over the merchant account you would like to use. When you hover over the merchant account, you'll notice just here, it says ID equals and then a number. That number is what you need to then type into this box here. Next, we decide what we want to call this particular payment method in the uh, payment options on your checkout. I always use credit slash debit cards. You can use whatever you like. The description can be payment via Infusionsoft or again, payment via uh, credit and debit cards. It's completely up to you. That's just down to your taste. Once that's all done, you'll want to click Save Changes. Infusionsoft is, now, or Infusionsoft is now connected to your WooCommerce and that means you can now um, do some really cool magic between WooCommerce and your Infusionsoft application. The first of those is the Infusionsoft Import, which is an option underneath WooCommerce. Now the first time you load this page, it will take a little while. What this is actually doing is going off to your Infusionsoft application and pulling in all of the products that you have uh, in your application. So here we have quite a few products sitting in um, our application here. Now I would like to just import um, this product and this product. Um, and then there's another one just down here I'd like to import as well. Uh, oh, gone past it. Where is it gone? 
It's disappeared. There it is. And this uh, vintage port as well. We scroll all the way down to the bottom now. And down the bottom here, we've got this import products button. What that's going to do is it's going to take those three products that I selected, and you can select as many as you like, although it's a good idea to just do a few at a time. If you're doing lots, it can take uh, quite a while. And what this is doing is it's taking all of the information from Infusionsoft, the um, SKU, the um, price, the description, the title, etc., and it's bringing it into Infusionsoft. You should, into WooCommerce even. You'll then see that you've got the three uh, products that we just imported. And now when we go into products underneath WooCommerce, we then see those three products are then added there. Let's go and have a look at what's happened to our front end. If we go back to our home page, it's going to have added all those various different pages that we did earlier. And you can decide in your menu area of Infusions of WordPress whether you want that to be on your um, page or not. You might want to hide my account because you don't want to give them access to that area or, or whatever. And um, we can go into shop. And in shop now we can see those three products that we've just imported. And now we can go into the product and see more information about the product. There's the uh, uh, test description and so forth that got imported from in Infusionsoft. And then we can click add to cart. When we click add to cart, it adds it to our shopping cart and when we view the cart we can then see that we've got that one product in the shopping cart and we can now proceed to check out. Once we're here we fill in the form that uh, is just normal WooCommerce form and then down here here's that credit and debit cards that we changed earlier and this is the form to put in your credit card details. When you place the order the contact details, the order information, the card details are all added into Infusionsoft and the order is processed through Infusionsoft in the normal way as if they've done it through your own shopping cart in Infusionsoft but they've done it through WooCommerce. This will also trigger any campaigns that you have in Infusionsoft for those products. In further videos I shall go into more detail about triggering campaigns. Hope this uh, has been helpful to you and I look forward to hearing about your success using the WooCommerce for Infusionsoft plugin.